Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video I'm going to take and release to you Roy's little secret. What's up with the rag? Okay everybody, so welcome back. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be bringing you down to my level real quick from a bird's eye view perspective of what I do behind the scenes. Way down there is the rag that I use, and I brought out, you right in that area there, a secondary camera to take and show you the reason why I take and keep this particular style uh, rag around here. Now on your end, you can't see this on most of the videos, but this is a handy little trick if your camera, and you're doing YouTube, has focus peaking. So we're going to talk about that here in just a second. So let me go ahead and flip you all around. Okay, so here we are. What I wanted to take and show you here, I don't know if you guys can see this in the camera, but on that little, let's zoom you all in a little bit. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. On that screen there with focus peaking, hopefully you can see that the, la the rag is lit up bright blue. So let's go over here. And let's change something real quick. Come over here. You're going to see this go out of focus. So I lay my rag on my anvil, just like so. And what this does is this helps me nail focus. So now if I come back over here, sorry, I'm working with a monopod and a tripod on this whole thing. Let's hopefully this whole deal's in shot. Let's get zoomed in, shall we? Get really nice and close and personal. Give me a second, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to get this focused for you. Okay, so now if I move the dial here, you hopefully can see the focus peaking moving on the anvil. So that allows me to manually focus my camera to the area that I'm going to be working. It allows me to nail my focus first time out the gate. It also works on your face. So, <laughs> sorry, having a little bit of fun with it here. How else can you make a video like this fun and entertaining as well as informative? Uh, I'm not much of an entertainer, but you can also use this up here by your face whenever you're doing a selfie shot with focus peaking, looking in your little flip out window. If you've got like a Lumex G7 or a vlogging camera that can do such things, and what that will allow you to do is it'll allow you to nail a perfect focus on your face. I hate using autofocus, and the reason why I hate using autofocus is Lumexes, they're horrible for it. First of all, they really hunt to find your face. Um, you know, if you move over, it might be focusing back there, it might be focusing over here, it might be on your nose, it might be on your hat brim, and you never really know. So I like to take and use, again, manual focus to really get me dialed in and I keep a set distance from me to the camera that way and it all works out. So that's the secret to this rag. But now, why does this work? This is the question, why does this work? Well, if you notice here, this has a lot of really high contrast to it. It has the white pinstriping on it and then it has the black, the flat black. If you were to just do just say the flat black portion of that without the white pinstriping, it wouldn't really show up that well. So focus peaking loves contrast, sharpness. So say you got a beard, a really nice beard, that's like really furry or bushed out there, it will pick up on your beard hair and you don't even need the rag. Uh, something like this, say you're wearing a flannel and it's got really nice sharp lines or really good contrasty lines, the focus peaking will pick up on that as well. But anyways, this is just one of those things I wanted to take and share with you all. I've been asked about 200 and some odd different times about why do I have a rag in my back pocket, which is kind of a weird question if you think about it, but that's basically it. Uh, it just helps me nail my focus each and every time, and hopefully that'll help some of you out there if you're trying to take and create YouTube content. So that's it for this video. Give it a like if you liked it. Uh, subscribe, do all that jazz. You've heard that a million times from all the other various YouTubers out there. Uh, I hope you'll stay around, watch the channel for more and great informative 
blacksmithing education. So that's it for today. God bless you, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.